This is my ninth, believe it or not. Number seven, believe it or not. Wow, that's a nice one. Go on. There we go. Blob. Pink bead. Oh, I don't know yeah. what size that is. Twelve, I think. Yeah, something here. Yeah, and about well done. two foot under. I reckon rough that two foot. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the airflow screwy ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, could I put the sword in? They're, they're really Hi there folks, this is part two of the winter session I did recently. This focuses on the um, blobs under an indicator uh, that caught me about six fish, I think. Um, so yeah, I've just put them all on one video for you uh, just to separate them. Um, again, there's some tips and advice for beginners um, at the end of this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I'm in. There we go. And um, yeah, please click like and subscribe for more if you'd like to see more and uh, feel free to comment below and um, tight lines to you all. Thank you. Right in the scissors. That just shot away that indicator. Of course, fighting hard. blob that I was fishing with, I was just fishing one fly, the pink blob as you'll see in the video, and just up the line you affix your indicator. I have to end this at some point. Look at that. Oh yes. What in the scissors look is that? There we go. Except in the scissors, we'll just get this hook out of him. He's well hooked. There we go. There we go. Pop him back. There's your indicator and there's your blob. This blob has a bead on, which I'm sure you can see, which makes it heavier and it will sit right under this indicator. The indicator sits on the surface, the blob sits underneath. Oh, bloody hell. There we go.
is number six. And the hook is out in the net. There we go. How about that? A small trout. He come up and grab that. That was right, I think it is a record day for me today. There we go. Fish number seven, believe it or not. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a lovely fish. It's there you go. Go on. Go on. There we go. Wow, seven fish. I don't think I've actually been fishing before and caught seven fish. Hello. The bait man has seen my uh, good fortune there. Eh? I think. Uh. Uh, blob. Under an indicator, yeah. Pink one. Yep. How about yourself? No? Yeah. I've had seven in total. I've had seven in total now. Floating at the moment right. under a bung. Yeah. Fish a bung under an immediate fish picker. Yes, it is, yeah.
My God, this is fighting hard. What a lovely day when they fight like this. Fish number eight, believe it or not. Oh, he's back hook out and he's now hooked. There we go. What was that on? You owe me a pint. <laughs> oh. This is my ninth, believe it or not. You know what I want to do now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. What did you get it on? Yeah. This is a pink blob with a pink bead on it. Under a bung. About two foot under the bung. Oh yeah. Especially on a cold day. Cool. Guy in the boat's just changed tactics based on what I've told him, and he's got what well, he had one as well. It's nice when you can help someone out on it, you know. Wee. Right in his scissors, you can see that. <laughs> Two foot, I reckon. Number nine. Let's come out in the net. How about that. Pop it back. Let's help him out, I think. Actually on YouTube last yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it, is it? I'll show you. Can we get a bugger? So just a little pink blob. Pink bead. Oh, I don't know yeah. what size that is. Twelve, I think. Yeah, something, yeah. Yeah. And it's brilliant. About well done. Two foot under our right, two foot. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the airflow screw ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've just sorted them. They're, nice. they're really good. They're a pain in the ass to cast, but yeah. they do the job. So uh, I've had foam ones before; they just slip off. So 
I trod on this way earlier, so I was obviously don't once it's in the water it'll wash. This is but true. yeah, so I got some orange ones as well. You know when you order forty quid's worth of flies on the internet and you regret it? Yeah. Not today. Yeah. <laughs> well done, I'm so pleased for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. If I can get ten today, that'll be a personal best in terms of amount. Yeah, well I've had two today and I'm over the roof. Yeah, there you go. Those, it? Yeah. It's just changing the tactics. Like I've got an intermediate line and rod and some lures there and yeah, just I just learn everything from YouTube and Good, it, yeah. yeah, YouTube's fantastic really. Uh, but um, yeah, they stocked two, three days ago here as well. I think yeah, yeah. yeah so just uh, luck on the day, I guess as well. But oh, well done. yeah, really thanks so much. Story. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, two foot. How about that? So in this session, I was mainly fishing under a bung or an indicator uh, with a fixed fly, uh, static, um, which is quite a common thing to do in winter. Uh, I was using these uh, airlock um, indicators, so they're nice and easy to use. Basically they're a ball and they've got a little uh, little screw fix on and you just screw them on the line and you can slide them up and down your line and easily uh, change the depth that you're fishing at very, very quickly without any knots or anything like that. It's so easy. So all I had was my blob that I was fishing with. I was just fishing one fly, the pink blob, as you'll see in the video. And just up the line, you affix your indicator you undo the little screw, you would see a little slot in that particular uh, indicator there and you just slide the line into the slot like so and all you do is you screw this little washer back on while that line's in there There you go. There's your indicator and there's your blob. This blob has a bead on, which I'm sure you can see, which makes it heavier and it will sit right under this indicator. The indicator sits on the surface. The blob sits underneath at whatever depth you set that indicator at and the trout come along, grab. Down goes your indicator, your strike, hopefully you're in. You can slide you want a little bit more deep, you just slide it over, just like that, tighten this up, and there you go. You're fishing at more depth. If the fish comes shallower, same thing. Slide it down your line, and then you're fishing shallower. 
like so, dead easy. You want to take the indicator off, you unscrew it, you lift it off, job done. There we go. When you buy a packet of these indicators, you get a spare couple of washers because they know what's going to happen, don't they? You're going to lose one or two. So uh, they're a bit of a pain to cast, uh, but on their day they fish well. A lot of people don't like fishing with indicators, but I don't mind. It's still artificial flies on the end. You know, it helps you catch fish, great stuff. I've got a box here, which has got different types of blob in. Uh, so I've got my, purple, my pink blob, I've got orange and uh, sunburst yellow. All we've got beads on at the top there, as you can see. I've got some boobies and some other colorful stuff there as well to attract the uh, fish. Uh, so yeah, try it yourself. It's a great uh, bit of fun in the winter time.